Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. We usually expect to go into the world with our own fortitude, our own focus, our own vision, our own mission, our own values. And when we do that, usually our life unfolds correctly, the way that God would have it to do. But we have people in this world who like to pretend to be other people. They like to commit identity theft. Even on the world stages of social media, innocent people, allegedly, are using famous photographs of famous people who are not them to express themselves. It is a form of identity theft. It is definitely a form of fraud. If you're not a famous actress, then don't pretend to be one. If you're not a person of interest, then don't act like one. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And there are people in families that are incestuous in everything and every way that they want work in the day. In life, we have to look at where we're working. We have to look at where we're playing. We have to look at what it is that we think we're saying. The rudeness of the world are these immoral people who want power over other people. The power they want over other people is, I'm going to be in control of you. I'm going to do something for you because I feel like it. No, you're going to try to be a servant of the Lord. And if you're a servant of the Lord, then you will stop yourself. You will listen to yourself and you will expect what was Jesus say to you if you were standing before the Lord at the end of your judgment day. You see, judgment day comes for everyone despite the fact that people say, I don't live for heaven. I live for the day. Well, good for you. I'm glad you do that. The problem is, though, that we still have this fact-based record that basically is from around the world and many cultures and many ways of people seeing the Lord. And almost every culture has the concept of a deity. And almost every deity has the concept of judgment, of evaluating the quick and the dead, as they like to say. And openly, it's not about what's in your head. You see, in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And the truth is that people like to play lords over other people's lives that don't have any right to them. Many times they've lost rights, but they haven't lost rights all the time willy-nilly. They haven't lost rights in ways that makes them look silly. Sometimes that person is a psychological abuser, and that person has said, you know, I've had enough of you, and I've had enough of you because you keep interfering in my life. There are other people who play the game of, we're friends, I like you, I'm going to use everything I can from you, I'm going to get the most out of you, I'm going to get three times the service from you, I'm going to do all these things with you, but then I'm going to turn around and lie about you. I'm going to enter your home illegally. I'm going to enter there immorally. I'm going to put my hands in your drawers. I'm going to look through your content. I'm going to look through locked bags. I'm going to do all this to you, and I'm going to feel good about it. Here's the problem. All you've proven is that you're an idiot about life, that your immoralness is going to be the guide for your life. And then you sit there and you wonder in your life, why isn't my life gone better? Why don't I have more income? Why don't I have more girlfriends? Why don't I have more guy friends? Why don't I have a lot more things going on for us today? You see, in life, we've got moments of time to speak the truth. And the truth is what you do today will impact what you get tomorrow. And what you get tomorrow is totally based on what you did before. I actually have siblings who continue to incessantly, incestuously come after my life. I have never in my life given them access to my Rolodex, and yet I find them connecting to people that were private, totally private to me, which means they have valued nothing in their life. They have devalued human life, and they think they're in charge of someone else's life. I have scolded them. I have rebuked them in the name of God, and I have said, stop doing this. You're ruining a life. You're ruining a record. You're ruining a relationship. How dare you get involved?